how you doing? Good, you? Great. Where are you right now? At my house. I just finished working out this morning, so. Um, where do you live? So I live uh, 30 minutes up north from Montreal. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. How many years have you been to the games? This is going to be my uh, sixth time now, if we count Damn. the one in 2022 as a team. So, uh, yeah. We do. We count that. We count, we count that. that now. All right. We do count it. Yeah. All right. Six times. Yeah. Already. I feel I started yeah. yesterday, but uh, <laughs> no, nah, I'm getting older. So, it is we all it is. are. We all are. We all it's, are part yeah. of the, it's part of the process. Are you still, is Reebok, are you still with Reebok? No, not anymore. Oh, okay. You're just wearing yeah. a Reebok shirt? Yeah. I mean, I have a lot of them, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What, um, you finished, how long was your session this morning? About um, two hours ish. So, not okay. too bad. Not too bad. And then how many more times will you train the rest of the day? So I'm going to go get some lunch now. And uh, I got some couple of emails to, to do. And uh, I'll probably just go to the lake this afternoon with some friends. Hit like a swim session at the lake. So Will that swim session be just like kind of a recovery or an easy session? Or are you actually going to go pretty hard? No, we're, I'm supposed to be going hard this afternoon. But um, I'm not going to okay. lie. I'm, it's Wednesday. I'm pretty tired now <laughs> and sore throughout the week. So... I mean, I'll do what I can, but uh, technically this afternoon I have a, a four-time 500-meter swim with three-minute rest between. So uh, I'll probably take the first one pretty, you know, like a easier little bit, try to push the second and third one, and maybe cruise the last one if I survive. Yeah. That's a legit session. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a fast swimmer, but I like swimming because of risk. Yeah. You know? We did yeah. so much together, so then now I'm like, hey, I'm a big dude, but I can, I can swim, so uh, I like it. How much? Uh, how many years were you in Cookville with Rich? Uh, so it actually, it's the first time this year I'm not there for, I mean, like, not full-time, but almost. Um, yeah. So normally when the season kick off, like, I'm, I'm there for, like, open quarterfinals, prep for semis, prep for the games. But now, um, you know, I'm a dad of two, and they're getting older, so it's kind of like it's harder to, uh, to leave the house and uh, – just tell the wife, hey, I'm leaving for two months to train, you know? So uh, yeah. try to take my responsibility responsibility a little bit more as a dad and being uh, a CrossFit Games athlete at the same time. So, And so you really um, found a passion for swimming through your time with Rich? Because Rich would swim once or twice a week, every week, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the year we went team together, uh, we were swimming, at, I mean, at least twice a week. It's not sometimes three times a week. Um, so... I wasn't a good swimmer before, and now I'm just like I'm really comfortable in the water. I'm just I'm a big dude, so I and I don't have the swimmer like the swimmer shape, so uh, I'm not the fastest guy, but I like it. What did you um, w when you swim? What do you like to focus on um, the the sprints, or do you enjoy going longer too? I'm trying to actually tr be better at going for longer distance, you know? Um, so like yeah. last week, so every time we go to the lake here, I got two guys who are doing, you know, like Ironman stuff. And so, I mean, they're flying, you know, they're way better yeah. than me. Um, can't compare to those guys. But sometimes like we have to, we have kind of like three buoy in that lake. So that three buoy like triangle is 1K total. Oh, cool. So yeah. they're doing it as a warm up. So for me, it's more like a <laughs> workout. But um, so I like to hit that, but like, I mean, hopefully one day the goal will be just to, you know, hit those three buoy and not get tired after that. So, That's funny. Uh, yeah. How I'm big are you? Yeah, I, I know you're a big guy, but like, what are your, what's your height and weight? So I'm 5'10-ish, maybe 5'11", okay. and uh, I'm 2'12", 2 2'15". 2 yeah. Yeah, you are so big. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm big. I don't look that big, but I'm big. <laughs> yeah. What do you, what do you, uh, are you good at running? I mean... I consider myself as a good runner for the shape I have, but if we compare to other dudes, I mean, you know, there's some I'm, great runners in the field. Oh, dude, it's crazy. I'm not Jeff Adler, that's for sure. Um, Jeff is an amazing runner right now. He's. I uh, can't believe he just ran a sub five minute mile. That's impressive. I mean, I believe him. I believe. Yeah. Him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, Jeff is. <laughs> I believe it, but it's just really impressive. Oh yeah, yeah it is. No, no. Yeah. Especially with, you know, running before it. Like, he didn't just, like, you know, warm up for that and just try to hit a sub five mile. He did some running before and he hit the sub five minute mile at the end of the workout. So that's amazing. That's impressive. What do you enjoy? What do you enjoy in training? Like, what's your favorite thing? I mean, you know me, everything like gymnastic stuff is cool. I like it. I don't do yeah. it as much as before. Um, 
you know, I have a one shoulder that I'm not injured, but like one shoulder is kind of like talking to me with the years. So yeah. I'm trying to be uh, careful with that. And, uh, but um, yeah, I mean, muscle loves, bar muscle love, toes to bar, chest to bar, name them, name them all. I like it. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 28 now. Okay. Do you look at the, do you look at the future and say, I have two more years, I have five more years, or do you not even go there? No, I mean, I'm really going like one year at a time, you know? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I hope I can be like a Pat Vellner and do that, you know, for 15 years now. I mean, I'm messing with you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Pat has been doing it for a while, but uh, it's amazing, like, watching guys like, you know, Pikowski, Vellner, and, uh, you know, there's been, they've been in the game for, like, what, 10 years now, or I don't know, something like that. co I know. It's wild, yeah. Yeah, it's wild. Um, so, it's cool. It's fun to see that, that, and also to see it's possible to do it. So, yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see. I don't know. One year at a time, like I said. And they're both – aging and still staying at the very top which is impressive yep yeah oh yeah, absolutely yep you respect for those guys what don't you like man honestly i don't i don't think i don't like anything yeah i mean yeah for sure like you know if i have to program a perfect competition for me i will not put you know too much running in it and like yeah. uh, maybe not too much heavy squatting but like i've been getting way better at heavy squatting so far right now so it's uh I don't even mind them anymore. So, uh, no, I mean, I like every test. Even yeah. if it's not, you know, like something that I look at, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to crush that one. Like, even if I know that, all right, we'll try to make like a damage control here or something like that. But uh, it's still fun to do. It's still fun to hit on the competition floor. So, uh, For no, sure. I mean, I I usually enjoy everything. What um, Are you still following Mayhem? Yep. What's your biggest lesson that you learned from Rich in, in all your time training with him? Uh, I think Rich, what I learned most is me, like how to live outside of the gym. You know, yeah. I feel like, uh, as a, like, as a, I mean, I'm doing it full time now for six years and like getting in the gym, doing the work, pushing hard. It's like, that's the easy part, you know, um, for me, especially like now, as you know, as a dad, try to separate Sam, the athlete and become Sam, the dad, when I get yeah. in the house, that's the hardest part of the job, you know? Like, like everyone, I get some yeah. bad days in the gym, so I just want to break everything and get in the house, <laughs> and I'm mad, but, you know, I can't do that with the kids and the wife. Like, it's not their fault that my day is going, like, shit or something. So, um... And even when your day... And even when your day is going, like, shit, think about how fortunate, like, you are in oh, yeah. general. Yeah. Like, take a look at the big picture that you're able to do this full time. Yeah. Like, that's pretty special, you know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie. Like, younger me didn't realize that. And now I re I'm, like, the older I'm getting, the wiser I'm getting. It's, a, you know, I re I'm re realizing that the life that we're living right now is, like, we are so lucky to live it. And, uh, you know, it's not going to last forever. So I'm trying to enjoy it a little bit more every time. And uh, that's what I learned from, you know, from Rich. Like, hey, look at that. What Look at what we're doing right now. And, like, when we go outside, we can be other people. Or, yeah, we can be, like, a you know, like a human you like a normal human, normal dad, just yeah. enjoying life. And like when we get in the barn, gym, or whatever, like it's business time. So um, that's what I learned from Rich the most. That's cool. Having work-life balance. Yep. Yeah. And I wouldn't have expected that as the answer or the response because, you know, even at, on the outside, as you look at how Rich, people must assume Rich's whole life is in the gym. You know, yeah. like. I mean. Uh, a lot of a lot of it was in the gym, you know. But yeah, Rich was also yeah. a great friend. He's a brother now. He's a mentor. He's uh, you know, he's 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 not just Rich throwing the ten times games champion. He's he's Rich throwing, you know. Yeah, for so, sure. Uh, yep. What do you enjoy at the games? Not workouts, but like the spectacle, just like the being with other athletes. Like, what things outside of the events do you like at the games? Since you've been there so many times. Yeah, um, I think. Uh, that's a good one, actually. I feel like uh, back in the days, you know, like first or second years after and stuff like that, you don't really enjoy it, you know, like you're yeah. putting so much pressure and everything like, and you know, like you're the rookie. So like the, everything is new for you. And like, it just feel like, uh, you know, you're just like over your head. And the more like every year when I'm going back, it's just fun getting there and being like, hey, all those dudes here, all the girls, all the teens, they all went the same process as me. And look at that. Like there's everyone here in the crowd watching us yeah. working out but all of those people in those stands do the same thing actually that yeah. we're doing so that's pretty amazing like that's cool that's what i like about crossfit it's, it's like that you know whatever person in the stand that's watching us he's also 
he, he understands what we go through because he's actually also getting hurt when he's working out, you know? Yeah, 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 like, exactly. Sometimes people are just like, they think like we're kind of like superhuman or something, but like, I feel like people don't realize that we're also getting really hurt in every way <laughs> that we're doing, like, you know? Yeah. It's not because I just do it faster than you that I'm not getting hurt. So, yeah. Uh, that's what that's what's cool about CrossFit is like we're all in the same boat at the end. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you have any questions for me? Uh no, uh, no, I keep the surprise. I mean, I'm sure you okay. have a lot of new stuff for us. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I believe it. I believe. I hope. I will say I would like to see some maybe throwback workouts again. Okay. Okay. Maybe. We'll Good see. to know. Good to know. We'll see. Um, are you excited about Texas? Yeah, I mean. I mean, I was happy to see that we're going to be outside at 8 p.m. and not noon on Friday. Yeah, exactly. So that was pretty yeah. good. Um, as, I mean, my buddy doesn't like the heat, so uh, yeah. <laughs> that was good for me. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm excited for it. It's going, to be, it's going to be fun for me, like living like a new, you know, like the only thing I, you know, I, I've been in my life at the Grange is uh, Madison. Yep. I never went to Carson before. So now, like, living in another CrossFit game somewhere else is going to be fun, pretty fun. And like I said, like a new experience. So I'm excited for it. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Sam. Looking forward yeah, to seeing you soon and uh, have a good training day the rest of the day and spend some time with your family. Absolutely. Like always. Yep. Thanks, Dave, for having yep. me. Thanks. All right. Bye. Take